Hey guys, welcome. We're playing Super Metroid. <laughs> it's Super Metroid, but it's not Super Metroid. It's something special. This is really cool. Essentially, this is a Super Metroid ROM hack. No, but this is a interesting. This is a super fascinating ROM hack of Super Metroid. Because it's not like they made a new story. It's not like they really changed the gameplay too much. Except they did. They changed the type of game. Event essentially, they turned this into an arcade game. I'll show you what I mean when I start. You got easy, normal, hard, arcade, endless, seed. I'll keep it auto fresh. You can choose a different seed. I'll, I'll show you what that means in a second as well. Uh, and let's start. As you can see, we start off right on the ship. Simple, easy. Well, this looks familiar, right? Everyone that ever played this knows, knows what this looks like, right? Simple. This looks a bit different. What happens when you walk through here? You'll think, wait a second, this isn't the right location. Essentially, this game is now randomized. Every door you enter is actually any other door you enter in the game. You don't know where you're going to be exiting and entering. The goal of this is to basically last as long as you can going through the game. You'll go through some places, you'll get items, you're going to be fighting enemies. You know, every time you beat an enemy, you get points, or secret areas, you get points. But it became an arcade game, where you, the point is, get the highest score. And it's super cool, because... I mean, this is changed the... Jesus Christ, this is hard. This is not a very beginner-friendly area. <laughs> I'm not good at Metroid. I don't know if you know this. I play Metroid. It's fun, but I'm not very good at it. But it's changed the game completely from kind of a story-based explorer where you, you know, you progress slowly. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Just, Jesus, this is a really bad seed. But whoever, whoever had this idea... I give them, like, incredible props. This was really, really cool. If you don't know, if you haven't played a Super Metroid game, or, I mean, a Super Metroid, if you haven't played this me this game before, it's fascinating. And it works super well. You, I, you don't really get stuck anywhere. They, they've modified it to where, you know, pretty much everywhere you can get to at the point you can get to. It's fascinating. Obviously, this is some people's favorite Metroid game. The first Metroid game I ever played was Metroid Fusion. <laughs> Which I, I love dearly. Ooh, check it out. Missiles. I think they've randomized the music as well. Essentially, you'll enter a room and you have to go through it and beat it. Do whatever it takes, like feeding all the monsters, just getting to the next door. Uh, like this one, obviously I gotta defeat the monsters to leave. Which is fun, isn't it? Without dying. Like I'm about to. I'm real nervous. Because I sincerely am not very good at Metroid at all. <laughs> I've gotten very far in Super Metroid, but I've never actually beaten it. Mostly because I just... I left on a trip or something, came back, and I didn't remember where I was. I didn't feel like restarting. Like, half the games in my library. It's sad. Sad. Sadness. Freak. Frack. Diddly. Dak. Patty Whack. Kit Kat. Snick. Snack. Qu uh, quarterback. Biofeedback. Hashtag. <laughs> no, but this is, this is delightful. Creator, I give props. I give props. Um, good shaking of your hands. Oh, what the fuck am I doing? Just ignore the the bollocks of me screwing around and not knowing what I'm doing. But it's incredible. I've always wanted to do ROM hacks of games. And some people do the basics, where they just make a new story, or, like, or they expand on a character, or they, you know, other stuff like that. And that, those are cool, if they're done well. But it's like reading a fan fiction. It could be well written. But it's not really what you want. This is just pure gameplay fun. It's like making a roguelike. You, 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 you see the fuck? You see the funny thing? People talk about Metroidvania. Roguelikes. Get it? Because this is Metroid, and it turned itself into a roguelike. You, 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 you see the humor? What the fuck do I do here? Get me fuck. Uh, God damn it. 
I don't know how long I'll be playing this. Once I, if I was a little better at it, I might be playing more, but frankly, I'm not the best. I gotta say though, Super Metroid is, is a fantastic game if you haven't played it. It's super fun. I, I need to go back and finish it. What item is this? Also, I love this just because you can get items out of order. I'm not supposed to have these yet. But you know what? Who gives a shit? And I love seeing Regan go next. I, I also think this proves that the, the, the level design in this game is fantastic. Because even if you can rearrange it, for the most part it still works as its own area. Everything still just works. There were very little modifications needed to be done to make this work. Ooh, I mean, obviously, except for the coding thing in the first place, but... They didn't really need to modify how the levels looked or, or interacted. Obviously... Oof, I'm in the water now. They made sure that you couldn't go to some areas without the, the item you need to get there, stuff like that. Which makes sense, otherwise you just wouldn't be able to go through with it. But it's... Okay, I gotta stop. I gotta stop singing this game's praises. It's going too far now, guys. Fuck, fuck, fuck. No, but my first game, my first Metro game, Super Metroid, because uh, the you guys remember that the Nintendo 3DS Ambassador program. You guys remember that, correct? Nintendo was great. They were like, oh my goodness. Uh, you know what? We're making a new console, but uh, you know what? I think it it stands on its own. You know, we don't need we don't need to make new games for it. I mean, come on. What, people want Butt Blaster 3? Oh. Metroid 5. The, the Return of Metroids. That's right. Link 2. <laughs> Double Link. Something stupid like that. Nah, we don't need to make any... Oh, Jesus. I got... Do you see? I just got, I just got like three item rooms in a row. This is fantastic. No, but they were just like, well, you know, we don't need to make games. Let's just... Let's just not have any games. That way when people buy it early and they have nothing to play, they'll just be screwed, you know? So, of course, they did the ambassador thing, where if you got it early, they'll give you a bunch of free games. And that's how I got, you know, because they had all those Game Boy games. Game Boy Advance games. And, of course, a part of that was Metroid Fusion. Which was fantastic! Oh, shit. Fuck. But, no, Metroid Fusion is a fantastic game. I don't really know the context too much in terms of how it relates to the rest of the story. Because, well, you know, I haven't played all the games. I had Metroid 2, and I played like halfway through, went on a trip, and like, forgot where I was, so I stopped playing. Well, another game I need to get back to. Obviously, Nintendo remade that with Metroid Returns, right? Space Jump. Oh, this is a time You see on the top right, some items, they're like, way later in the game, they're overpowered. They made them on a time limit, that way, or like, basically to where you couldn't use it all the time. They don't want you to have it throughout the entire thing, so they're just like, we'll give it to you temporarily. Which I think makes sense, it was another fun addition to this ROM hack. So you don't just like, completely defeat the game. I think it's cool. I appreciate what this guy's done, he's done a lot of things to make the game balanced and fun. No, but I thought the ambassador pro program was actually really cool for me, just because it gave me uh, 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 It made me, um, mentally disabled. <laughs> no, it made me, um, have access to a lot of games that I hadn't played before. Or, you know, play games I wanted to play, but... Without it, I would have needed to... Fuck. I would have needed to fuck really, really hard, you know. But I was a little kid, so I couldn't do that. Instead, I needed to find the actual <laughs> cartridges and, you know, play them. And those are hard, and some of those are expensive. My video game collection is getting bigger, and that's why Jesus Christ. <laughs> that's why I um I need more, um. But it's not big enough. I don't have like all the games at once. Wow, I sound selfish. I collect video games, retro games. I try to. It's fascinating. But there's plenty of games I don't have, and I would love to get more. Hey, this will be my last um kind of run through of this. But there are some games like. You ever played Warrior Land 4? Brilliant. Fantastic game. It's delightful. Played Minish Cap. Uh, very, very underrated Zelda game. 
You ever played Butt Blaster 3? I know they didn't make a 4, but Butt Blaster 3 Nintendo was exclusive. Good game. 100%. Blasting those butts into space with your mega... Long blaster. You're, ah, it's brilliant. A finer game hasn't been seen. Actually, it's probably a better series than Zelda. I like... I like... But blaster more than Zelda. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about this, guys. Just ignore me. I'm not funny. What the fuck? I don't know how I died. But I did. You know what they say about death? It happens eventually to everybody. But this this was a really cool one. I talked extensively about it. It's Super Metroid Arcade. Check it out. It's really, really cool. I might play more of it. Especially if I get better at Metroid. But it's really, it's interesting and it's really fun. I, I, I wish more ROM hacks took this direction and they tried to do something new with the games as opposed to just like, you know, making a new story or making a new map or, you know, stuff like that. I wish they did something like this a bit more. Because this is honestly incredibly cool. Uh, anyways, thanks. This was a fun video to make. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.